Now I'm going to clip the tip I take a sharp knife and bear straight down on the mark that I made to create a long, a reed that's longer than you really need, but you need to have that room to spare. Insert your plaque very carefully before you start the next segment. Now with the plaque and the reed, I'm going to start making the hump of the reed, or the V you could call it. And I am very carefully, when making sure this cane is wet, making a, a sort of semicircle that you have marked out with that with that uh, pencil mark so you can stay in your boundaries it's going to be a lot longer but you want to have room to mess up so to speak and, and believe me we mess up a lot of reads as you learn and uh, do better but uh, try to make symmetrical cuts on both sides of the of the cane uh, of the reed and watch out for the hump don't let it get too big or you're going to have a very chirpy reed so I'm cutting down the hump a little bit on the left side and the right side not in the center too much but the left side and right side of the reed now I'm going to clip the tip and be very careful bear straight down give a good solid clipping of the tip Yes, it does crow now, but a little low, and I clip a little bit more to raise the crow. Okay. Now I'm going to work the tip a bit and clean up the tip, get all the uh, thickness out of the sides. Don't worry about the center of the tip. Stay away from the center of the tip. It'll take care of itself, but work the, the, uh, the hump, get that more defined. Uh, you don't want to have uh, too thick. Uh, of a uh, of a hump but then also you don't want everything too thin on your tip so you don't have a chirp you know the high squeak and clean up the sides look look at the sides be very careful because you can really ruin a reed if you if it's dry and if you pull cane out of the sides and I crow again again just a little bit low gonna clip just a little bit more very small amounts bearing straight down giving a good uh, a good bit of pressure Again, it's a little bit low. I'm going to do a final cutting here, just a last little tiny bit there, and give it a try for the crow now and see where it is. And now it is up the pitch and it will play the oboe fine. So it should be a C octaves. Do that. I do hope these short videos have helped you in understanding how to make reads or at least an understanding of what goes into making a read from your teacher or from my table. Thank you very much.